Well, from now on, kids in Meriden have to double check their outfits before they head off to school. But there is still some confusion surrounding the Board of Education's vote on a new dress code. News 8's Kent Pierce on the scene with more. OMG, it's all the girls coming to Maloney High School this morning. We're talking about the new dress code that bans this and bans that. The only trouble is what the school board actually voted on last night doesn't ban anything. This was day one of a new dress code for Meriden schools, and everybody knew it meant a ban on skinny jeans and jeggings, leggings that look like jeans. Everyone's telling us no tight skinny jeans or anything like that. Skinny jeans are the new thing in, and everybody's wearing them, and like I don't see why we wouldn't wear them. So let's hear it right from the Board of Ed president at last night's meeting. Not once during this entire process did we ever mention jeggings or did we ever mention skinny jeans. Those were not on the attack. That's right. The board did not ban any particular kind of clothes. It just clarified that they can't be too tight or revealing. Clothes cannot be so form-fitting that they're showing evidence of or exposing private body areas or undergarments. It is distracting because it's open skin. So people, other boys might get a little certain way. Yes, those teenage boys can get so easily distracted by someone's appearance. Are too revealing clothes distracting in school? Not good for learning? Sometimes, yeah, it's kind of distracting. The dress code does say skirts have to reach within four inches of the knee and pants should be worn high enough not to expose your underwear. But some kids say if school officials are going to play fashion police, there's really only one solution. If it's going to be such a problem for us to come to school and have to dress a certain way, just give us uniforms. And the question they're left with here at Meriden is which is more distracting, the skimpy clothes or a dress code debate that brings TV cameras to the schools? On the scene, wearing a comfortable two-button blue suit, I'm Kent Pierce, News 8.